this is very dangerous. Welcome to another very special episode of, of Drinking Games. I'm Daniel Egan. I'm Ron Warner. And we're watching episode of Star... No, we're watching the first... We're watching episode four of Star Wars. <laughs> you got it. Congratulations. <laughs> and, uh, Do you know what it's called, too? Uh, a New Hops. <laughs> and here to make sure we get the title right is Mr. Aaron Edwards. Senior Star Wars correspondent here on Very Danger. <laughs> Aaron, how's some words for us? Aaron, what, how are we going to be playing this freaking game today? We start with the, the shots first and we'll go right down. No. So, drink for every time Luke Skywalker whines about something. Okay. Uh, drink for space magic. Also known as the Force, but space magic is more fun to say. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was my idea, guys. <laughs> Rule number three Drink continuously every time R2D2 is sex with another machine. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> And what's our steam shot roll? Take a shot every time there is a creepy incest vibe. Mm. Especially with Luke. Um, he grew up on, you know, a desert planet with really the only woman he knew was his aunt. So... Hot. Yay! Alright, let's do this. Okay. Alright, drink continuously for the opening title. Mm. Oh, thank you for that. Strangely inaccurate stormtroopers are incredibly accurate in this scene. Drink for every time a stormtrooper actually hits someone, because it never happens again. I love that sassy hip act. I know. Like, <laughs> you're trash. Drink for sassy Vader. Yeah, sassy Vader. Right. Right. Pull one out for R5. Um, <laughs> R5. Yeah. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish. Take a shot for creepy insects. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Drink for uh, dismemberment. Uh, what? Dismemberment? It's a Star Wars thing. It does happen, I guess. It happens <laughs> in every movie. Chess Pokututa, please, da Tango. Da Oscar. Yes, I bet you have. Oh, that's a new rule. Uh, rule number something or other. 17. Drink every time Han gives it a That's, yeah. The more you tighten your grip, Tarkin, the more star systems will slip through your fingers. For Princess Leia's British accent, for some reason. Now this guy has a British accent. He also has two pens in his top pocket. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to write things. Just in case. Memos. Be evil. I believe they're actually code cylinders, so I have no idea what that means. Oh! And there goes Alderaan! Here goes the shot. Check the check the check the check the Cute. Good. Well, maybe maybe that's it. Maybe that's. I'm sure Kurt wants her speech and sexual tension. God damn it. It comes back. No. Cut Kurt. away image of like Chewie on fan fiction. Yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, uh, drink for an iconic line. What was that? That's nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, the fact they didn't just, see him. Space just, magic, by the way. I mean, you could just use the force for anything. It can't bring people back to life. They can't make people fall in love. This is true. Well, I don't want to get into that. You don't want to force it. Oh, okay, so. Oh. We're not even drinking for Veronica Puns. We're only oh. drinking for Aaron Puns in this episode. Get out of here. No. <laughs> Targeting computers and things. Well, then why do you even have to be there? You should be like, oh, oh, oh. Wait for the sports flight. Space law. As in, that's a shot. Take a shot. That's for, a shot for destroyed Death Star. Just uh, take, take a shot for destroyed uh, Death Star planet style thing. Sorry. Uh. Anything possible for that? <laughs> also, we got a drink for Chewie, who in fact did not get a medal here. Well, that's. 
Yeah. It's complete bull****. It is bull****. That's definitely racism. Drink for chewy racism. No, one alien in that entire room. In a world where you Look at, by the way, do you see that guy's mustache on the right? <laughs> is that a porn stash? That is not a porn stash. That is, that is just full on something else. That is, <laughs> a, that is its own organism. Aaron, in a world where you have all of these races working together, who are the real aliens? The mustache! Look that, at that! That's pretty extraordinary. And that is Star Wars New Hope. We laughed, we cried, we made a few friends along the way. No. Uh, do you have any insights? <laughs> Well, well, yeah, so, you know, I find it so weird that this movie's gonna end and ten minutes later they're all gonna be hauling ass to leave the avenue. There shouldn't be like 16 different Star Destroyers orbiting that planet around now. Here we go? Yeah, just about. Right, so what was your impact, Veronica? I've always loved this movie. It does give me a slightly newer hope in these trying times. Leia kicks ass constantly. <laughs> Somebody has to save our skins. Into the dark, fly boy. Daniel, how do you feel about the situation? Good. No, That's it. shut up. <laughs> the whole reason I think we did this is a sort of tribute, in uh, in a way, to Miss Miss Fisher, and uh, she did a lot of stuff. She wasn't just Princess Leia. She was also one of the most respected screen uh, play doctors in Hollywood, and she's someone to live up to. So she had courage, and she did what she wanted to do, and she did it well. She had a wicked sense of humor. Yeah. The best. So this one's for you, Carrie Fisher, and um, happy 2017. We look forward to seeing you in the next Star Wars film. Read her books, they're great. Mm. Uh, it was a pleasure being your guest host on this episode of Very Danger. I'm Aaron, and I just took these fools to the first Star Wars movie. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, I'm Daniel Egan. I'm Veronica Warner. And farewell. <laughs> I can't even tell what's going on here.